Uncle Larry is five to two, second favourite. Last of the bunch, five to one. Orbis is at ten to one, and eleven to one from twelves, my young man. Redundant pal, sixteen, so is Firion's Law, uh, Firion's Law rather, and uh, Buck Willow, twenty to one from sixteens. Devil's Valley, twenty-five to one, thirty-three to one, by nine. Anyway, with Park Island, uh, the first to show. Park Island, well up there. Over on the far side, my young man. My young man lands in the lead from Bark Island, Uncle Ernie. They're all safely over the first. And it's uh, my young man from Bark Island, Uncle Ernie, towards uh, the near side, is Monumental Land. And still, my young man from Bark Island, Monumental Land. Buck Willow not far behind him. Uncle Ernie's been dropped back to six. Over on the far side, last of the bunch is tracking the leader, but about four lengths of off him at the moment, off my young man, as my young man comes down to the next the leader from Park Island and Monumental Land on the stand side. Over the third, my young man from Monumental Land. Slight pick there by Uncle Ernie in sixth place. He's got remittance man upside him. My young man taking him along at a real good gallop. Moving up on the inside, last of the bunch goes second just ahead of Bark Island, then Monumental Land on the outside and Buck Willow and Uncle Annie as they jump that one. Remittance Man is next and then comes Orbis and Devil's Valley with Gia Star on the inside. Duke de Vendome is the back marker. My Young Man is the leader from last of the bunch second in Bark Island, Monumental Land on the outside. Then Buck Willow and Uncle Ernie and Remittance Man on the inner and Geo Star and Orbis next over this one. My Young Man landed about six clear there of last of the bunch, a stake there by Duke de Vendome, a stake also by Perrion's Law, coming down to the water now, and my young man lands clear of last of the bunch, remittance man making good ground on the inside, and Uncle Ernie towards the outer, Gia Star comes next with Buck Willow, over the final ditch, my young man, over the second ditch I should say, and my young man the leader from last of the bunch, remittance man going well on the inner, and uh, Uncle Ernie going well on the outer as they jump the eighth. My young man landed in the lead. Last of the bunch is second, remittance man is third, then Uncle Ernie four on the outside. Then comes Devil's Valley as they race now towards the second and last ditch, four from home. And it's my young man from last of the bunch, remittance man, Uncle Ernie and Devil's Valley. Racing now up to the Top of the hill, Buck Willow was a faller at that one. Geo Star also went, and it's my young man being pressed by last of the bunch. Remittance man going well in third, Uncle Ernie going well in four. Devil's Valley comes next, and Orbis is making very good progress now. As they race down to the next, it's still my young man. Three from home, who's made all the running so far from last of the bunch. Remittance man coming there strongly, Uncle Ernie over on the far side at the third last. Remittance man just with my young man and Uncle Ernie on the outside and last of the bunch. It's Remittance man the leader now from last of the bunch and Uncle Ernie improving towards the outside. Remittance man now from Uncle Ernie, two from home. And it's the big two. Remittance man last of the bunch is a faller there. And it's Remittance man from Uncle Ernie, Richard Dunwoody from Mark Drive, the great round, the home turn in the Waterford Castle. To recap the result, first, number 12, Remittance Man, owned by Mr. J.E.H. Collins, trained by Nicky Henderson, written by Richard Dunwoody, bred incidentally by Red Rum's breeder, this horse, Martin Jameson.